So you might have heard about the Starship rocket that was supposed to launch yesterday before they scrubbed it. Elon Musk's company has just scrubbed the launch of its Starship rocket. But then Kerbal put out a challenge and said, do it anyway. So I'm like, fine, I'll do it myself. And the rocket is supposed to be pretty massive. So we're gonna use the big command pod for this. So there's two main parts to the rocket. I mean, this might be the right size. The top one is the main rocket looking part, which Honestly, it looks straight out of Kerbal, not gonna lie. So we just need an adapter for that. That's looking decent, but I think we can slim it down. Yeah, that looks more in line with it. Also didn't realize how small this top part is. I was grabbing this nose cone, but that's way too big. <laughs> and we probably need another one of these fuel tanks. And then there's fins on the side. So we'll need stabilizers to match that. Kind of up here. Yeah, it looks about right. About as right as it can get. And of course we can adjust these. Something like that looks pretty good. I'd say I'm like in the look of that and we'll need similar ones down here All right, it's not the most accurate thing, but that looks pretty good I'd say I don't think I can get the wings to exactly be the right ones because I don't think this game has wings that go side to side like the real one does But we'll do what we can with the flaps now the thruster at the bottom He's got like six of them. So i'm hoping we can find a thing similar to that also means we'll probably have to use these engine mounts right here So we can strap more on here. The thing is these things are huge And I don't think these extra small ones are gonna cut it for a rocket of this size But we will do what we can I mean we can kind of use that and then we need three on the outside It honestly doesn't look too bad. I think that's as good as we can get this has four of them them, but that maybe that's okay good enough for what we're doing anyway so that's more or less the top part of the rocket and now the bottom part which on paper says it's a booster but there's also supposed to be 33 engines on it huh? which is ridiculous so that means we're gonna need to use a big thing in order to get them all or as many as we can i think the only way we can get 33 of these is if we use the small thrusters so maybe we can get away with that just gonna need to use a lot of these extra small ones and then we just need three more in the middle. But the game is getting very snappy with me. So maybe just one of these in the middle. So how many is this? One, two, three, four. So there's 34. Four thrusters here because of this bit in the middle. So we're actually doing one better than SpaceX. I call that a success. And now we just need to attach you with a thingy. It's not perfect, but it looks good for our purposes. What does the engineer's report say? Oh, <laughs> wow. That thrust to weight ratio does not exist. And engine missing necessary fuel? But it should have all the things. I mean, these are Methalox engines on a Methalox tank. So let's just launch this and see what happens. Valentina Kerman's ready to get this underway. So let's do it. And then we launch and whoop. Oh, uh, quick, launch again. Uh, <laughs> okay, rocket is very heavy. So I guess all these tiny thrusters down here really aren't enough. So the rocket itself might not be big enough for the engines that we need, which means we just rip this apart and then upscale. So this one gets the big tank and then we just get an adapter on there. And this might be big enough that we can put the wings on it. If we had too much weight, this thing is going nowhere. Okay, now this thing has the bigger tank on it. We need to reattach the engines. Hoping I can upgrade to this size now for all of them. This might be the best that we can do for that. Now the difficult part is attaching all this because these things don't like to go together for some reason with all these engines here. So we can do that and then move some part of it up like this. Uh, <laughs> but the fairing doesn't agree with that. You know what? There might just have to be a gigantic space between the engines and the booster. Now what to do about all of these? Well, one thing's for sure these small ones aren't gonna cut it so better idea scrap all that who needs 33 boosters anyway put an engine pod on here and then we just use three of these medium boosters we can use a tube onto the the, the thing put on the thing put it on the thing well that's exactly not what i wanted so if we put that right there and then slide this down so it clears it that can work and then we strap these on here okay that is definitely not how this goes together but that might have to be what we do in order to get this to work and now we have a thrust above one silly tesla man using 33 engines so let's see what we can do with this okay everything is staying together properly it hasn't blown up yet we don't have a lot of burn time for this but i'm hoping to at least get to orbit so we might as well enjoy the countdown for this and it's burning so we detach oh yes we're going up we're going up we are going up. Uh, okay, those are spinning kind of cool now, actually. But that's uh, that's not what we want to do. Oh, gosh. 
We just made a flying tripod that likes to dance. <laughs> uh, whoa, okay. Let's burn. And, whoa, that corrected. Hey, maybe we can land this. That has a lot of fuel time too, which is good. I don't, whoop, okay, you gotta, you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down. The whole point of this is to slow down. I guess some of our uh, thrusters broke off. Oh, is she gonna survive? Survive, Ooh. survive, no. <laughs> Uh, whoops. Hmm, I think I see the problem. Those boosters connected to the thrusters under here. You weren't supposed to do that. Maybe we can just attach these individually and then position them ourselves. It's a bit more work, but it's what's necessary. All right, this isn't working with the attach to the rocket. Move you over here. I can kind of cheat it by attaching the boosters to each other. So we have a thingy like this. I mean, it works. Reattach the clamps. Put this troublesome thing back on here. Okay, that, um... It deleted a booster. Gotta love games that are broken. Should be an easy fix. And then for safety's sake, we're just gonna strut these together. They're not gonna be breaking off individually, so they should be good to be this close to each other. And I also just realized a rocket of this size probably needs some RCS adjusters. So we can just strap a couple of these on here. You can't see them, but there are some under this tube here. I mean, at least the top part is the same. Why are you shaking like that? Don't do that. You weren't supposed to do that. Okay, let's just uh, get this thing up in the air and hopefully it tries to, what oh, just happened? Um, it's uh, it's still connected, sir, but <laughs> whatever happened there. Okay, it's staying perfectly straight now, which is a good thing. Now let's get this thing up in the air. There we go. Oh, that's looking so much better. We're getting good velocities here. Not too sure how we're gonna tilt this thing, but at least it's staying straight up, which is what I want. Oh, that is, that is solid right there. And Valentina looks like she's having a good time. I don't know, she's kind of just fascinated by her shoes. They're probably good shoes though. Wish I had some astronaut shoes. Oh, there she's paying attention and uh, back down. <laughs> Silly Valentina. Okay, supposing we rotate this thing. Ooh, oh, that works flawlessly. Okay, we're at the altitude where we should tilt. So can we just, um, this way? Yeah, this way. Okay, that's working. That is working. And tilt some more if you please. Tilt some more if you please. Tilt some more if you please. Stop fighting me. Tilt more if you please. And boosters just ran out there, so we'll detach. And then fire some more. Uh-oh, we're losing velocity. But whoa, we can really move this thing. Okay, so let's fire all the thrusters. Please get momentum. Yes. Yes, we're starting to get velocity again. Okay, good. And we can really move this thing. I didn't need those RCS thrusters quite yet after all. How's our thing looking? Okay, our apoapsis is 50,000. Let's get this to 70. And look at that right there. That is beautiful. These wings really don't do anything anymore, but hey, we're getting to orbit and we're getting good velocity increase as well. I was worried this thing was going to be too heavy. Okay, apoapsis is 70,000, so we'll cool off on that. And then we can turn on the RCS so we stay pointed towards trajectory, the pro grade. We're starting to lose some velocity, but that's expected when we're going towards apoapsis. And I bet Valentine Tina's really enjoying the view, even though I can't see her in the cockpit. What if I do this? Oh, um, I guess she's not in there after all. I'm sure she's somewhere having a good time. Okay, let's lock our move right there. And then once we get to apoapsis in three, two, one, burn again. And then we're really pushing out this. Yes. All I want is to achieve orbit because that's probably all this rocket can do. Let's also tilt up a little more so we can get that prograde back above the horizon line. Our apoapsis is declining, which is not a good thing. And we have a long way to go before the periapsis shows up. But as long as we keep increasing velocity, that number will climb a lot sooner. And it's starting to reach around. Yes, yes. Yes, there's the orbit. Okay, stop. Okay, apoapsis is over there. It's above 70,000 meters. That's what I want. Now we just need to wait till we get there and then push the periapsis to that height as well. We're doing this. We're gonna make the funny Tesla guy proud. We'll also turn off RCS for now. I also just realized, I think we're moving opposite the direction of orbit. No, we're going east, so it should be correct. It's just so disorienting. The planet is moving so fast below us. We're also not quite to the outer reaches yet, so we can't go too fast with the speed. Not that I really want to anyway. There it is, 70,000 meters. So let's increase speed a little more. And then once we get to apoapsis, we can burn again. Kind of 
impressed at how fast we're able to do this. This has only been a 10 minute mission and Valentina's excited pushing all the buttons and everything. But now we gotta make sure this thing is pointed back to prograde, at least close enough. Maybe we'll burn a little before Apoapsis, just so we're not throwing ourselves towards the planet. Maybe at 30 seconds. Three, two, one, burn. Okay, looking good. And whoa, okay, we're orbital now. So that's cool. And Periapsis is above 70,000 meters. That's a really solid orbit right there. And that's a really good view too, I gotta say. Turn on the cabin lights so Valentina can see a little better. I am liking this. I bet this is how it would look too if the real thing launched. But now the thing that we might not be able to do is we're supposed to be able to land this thing. So wherever the Kerbal Center is, that's going to have to be where we touch down. And I have no idea how to do that. I could probably land this thing in the ocean okay, even though I don't have a parachute, but we don't talk about that. The real thing doesn't. So I'm guessing what I'll have to do is turn this thing retrograde, which we'll use RCS for just to speed this up. We have plenty of propellant for it. And then once we're pointed back this way, we'll have to start burning to reduce the periapsis. But once we do, it'll end up over there and that'll be way too early. So let's wait a little bit. I'd say until we're past the space center going this way, right about there. And now we're pointing the entirely wrong way. So gonna have to burn some RCS again, or maybe not. I can wait for this to go. I also love that this thing supports three Kermans and I only sent one. Oh, actually it supports five <laughs> and I only sent one. Oh well, okay, but now we're past the center going that way. So we can start to burn a little bit to reduce periodic right around here. We need to preserve fuel in order to slow us down, but then it should look something like this. Ooh, that's so close. Okay, so we might be able to do this. Let's get this thing pointed back around properly because I get the feeling it wouldn't look good to be entering atmosphere pointed backwards. And then let's also rotate this around like so, so it looks better flying. It's so fun watching the little wings try to work in a space. There's no atmosphere for you to cut through. Not yet anyway. Okay, now it's moving slightly off where the center is. So if we tilt this thing just a little bit down and burn just a ever so slightly more prograde. Okay, we overshot a little bit. That's going into the water. Don't want that. We'll rotate this around again and then a little bit more anti-normal. Actually, wasn't there controls for moving this thing transitionally like sideways and not necessarily rotating it? I want to try that because maybe since we're early enough, it'll affect where we land because the RCS really does a number on where the impact point is. So if we look at this thing properly and then let's see, first rotate you so you're up and down and then we can do, yeah, Something like that. Okay, that does work. So then where do we... Okay, so if we do... Oh, nope, too much. That goes out and in. If I keep burning one of these a little more... Is it doing anything? I don't know if it's doing anything. Uh, what about translating a different way? Oh, I guess I can't translate on the Z because these RCS thrusters don't point that way. That's too bad. Well... We're getting as close as we can, so we might as well just enjoy the ride. Okay, now we're starting to descend into atmosphere. I'm hoping we'll be able to turn this around without too much of a hitch once we get in. We're also going incredibly fast, and we're also increasingly off the mark for the Kerbal Pad. We can boost that a little bit. Ooh. Okay, since it is pulling back, maybe it's a good idea to speed past it, and then when we land, we'll get there anyway. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but I'm willing to try it. Okay, now Periapsis is above that, but it's also dropping, so we really are subject to gravity now and wow that view again this really makes me wish there was heat in the game just so i could see it burn all around this but also it probably wouldn't survive and there's a the moon and this thing will probably glide for quite a bit once we get an atmosphere i hope anyway because that's what the wings are for sort of and at the rate this is going we might land in the ocean so maybe we should start slowing down so we can land somewhere like this but we also need atmosphere to slow down if slowing down is even a thing here. And now that we're flying over the desert, I can just look at this and pretend it's gonna be Mars. Not really though. I feel like we're still quite a ways away from going there. But now we're almost about to hit atmosphere again, so this should be good. And now the impact point is going over the ocean. I really should start slowing this down, I think. Now that we're in atmosphere, let's try turning this around. Okay, that's working a lot better now. Oh, whoa. Oh gosh, we're spinning. Just spin back that way, okay. Keep it. No, 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 no. Like this. RCS. 
Help me. Help me, RCS. Help we are me. slowing down, though, so that's a good thing. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Uh, you know what? Steady enough. Burn. Okay, that steadies it out pretty good. If we can land on this little bit here, that would be good. I just don't want this thing to be destroyed. If it lands in the water, fine. We might also have enough fuel to slow down. We're almost to 1,000 meters already. 1,000 meters a second. Okay, and then we can go a little more. Oh, that little island right there would be a perfect landing spot. I don't have that level of control, though. Are we still slowing down? We're keeping a steady speed. Oh, we are slowing down. Cool. All right, at this point, landing in water might be the safest bet, but we're definitely not doing that now. It's desert time. Why has it got to be the desert, though? Of course, irritating and gets everywhere. And oh, gosh. Okay, um, surprisingly, we're still slowing down. I figured we'd be picking up speed, but I guess the wings are doing something to help that. Okay, let's reduce speed a little more. And then, not sure when we should start burning the rest of this. Maybe at now. Just gotta keep speed low. We have plenty of fuel to use here. Less than a thousand meters from the surface. Uh, oh gosh, we're tilting. No, 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 no. Whoa. Oh gosh, we're doing flips. Okay, just keep it steady. Oh no. No, 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 no. You're not keeping it steady. And burn. Okay, I see the problem here. You, that was a risky move, but we need to keep this thing pointed straight up now. Okay, and oh gosh, the wings are messing messing up the thing now. Ah, we're jumping. Not good. Burned a lot of fuel. Yeah. Ground's right there. Ground's right there. Ground's right there. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh gosh. Survive. Whoa. Survive. <laughs> oh no. God. <laughs> it was so close to landing it. Ah. Well, we got it to orbit. Let's hope they do a better job of landing it than I did. Thank you very much for watching and sub to intern. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.